طيب على بال ما تشيكها احنا بنبدا على اساس الوقت طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله الفلس والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته I want to thank everyone for coming to this webinar. I would like to thank uh, the College of Computer Science and Information System in Majran University uh, for facilitating uh, this event. Uh, for student researchers and whoever might be interested in technology for it. Um, I also want to congratulate Dr. Naif for completing uh, his PhD. Dr. Naif has received his master's degree uh, from Latrobe University from Australia uh, 2013. Dr. Naif has received his PhD degree uh, from uh, the University of Sussex from United Kingdom in 2021. Uh, Dr. Naif is specialized in cloud computing, user experiences, uh, digital transformation. Uh, today, Dr. Naif, inshallah, will talk to us about his PhD work, which is titled ACCE Gov, a new theoretical framework for cloud computing adaptation uh, for e-government system in developing countries. Uh, thank you again for everyone. Thank you, Dr. Naif, for willing to share with us your work. Uh, the mic is yours now. Whenever you are ready, you can start. Thanks, Dr. Yusuf, for this brief introduction. I would like to thank uh, all of you for attendance, and I hope you enjoy in this sem uh, seminar. Uh, please, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the end. In this seminar, I will present the main idea of my research. So if you have uh, uh, some interest uh, in, in more details, please, uh, you can contact me later. Uh, the research topic is ACCE.gov, a new theoretical framework for cloud computing adoption for e-government system in developing country, Saudi Arabia perspective. Uh, I'm graduated from the uh, University of Sussex, Department of Informatics. My supervisor is Dr. Natalia Biro and Dr. Martin White. The outline of this presentation will be start introduction, then the aim of research. Next will be research motivation, then the research framework and uh, research methodology, then uh, research finding and contribution, finally future uh, research. In recent years, many governments have worked to invest new technology in their system. One of the top five technologies that have been invested in many organization systems is cloud computing technology, which has played an important role in organization system processes. Cloud computing is a practice of a network of remote servers hosted on, in the internet to store, manage, and processes data rather than local server or a personal computer. A cloud computing has been shown many positive affecting in the transaction processing of a government organization. The Saudi government has given a high level of priority to develop a government system with high standard of quality. So there are many challenges that face the, uh, the that face the widespread adoption of e-government system in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the main problem in e-government system in Saudi Arabia starts in 2005. The Saudi government introduced an e-government program called Yasser, then they have introduced other 
a government program. In this time, uh, the internet it was uh, it was a low level of speed, and the Saudi government system is ranking uh, 58 worldwide in 2018 and uh, 48 for fixed uh, prone band speed during May 2020. As shown in this figure, the Saudi starts ranking in uh, less than uh, 38 and uh, it should be uh, decreased the number but unfortunately uh, the number of ranking increase until achieve 58. And the Saudi government system has been offered 250 million per year for adapting and secure data centers, as shown uh, in this uh, graph, which is uh, uh, spent uh, a huge of, uh, budget of organization to update and secure data center. A report of e government transaction are built by the e government program called Yes. This report revealed that total number of organization, government organization are 119, and only 31 of this organization have complete e government systems. 11 have incomplete e government system and uh, 77 only have basis, basic government systems. In this slide, the research motivation is to improve trust relationship between end user and cloud provider. And uh, second motivation to improve end user ability to measure, attest cloud security and data integrity and then investigating the critical factor impact the adoption of cloud computing in e government system and finally motivation providing a development framework models called accce.gov as no such comprehensive framework has been developed for e government system in e government organization context the aim of this research the aim of this research is to investigate to what extent will the critical factors affecting government confidence in the Saudi government sector influence the adoption of cloud computing and e government system based on the technology organization environment framework to achieve this aim there is some objectives which is the first one to examine the existing issue of e-government system in terms of security quality of online services and to review the current prototype framework of e-government systems and the second objective to investigate from the perspective of end users the critical factors that affecting adoption cloud computing in a government system and the final one to develop and evaluate an appropriate conceptual framework that can be utilized to implement the adoption of cloud computing in a government systems the research questions has three questions the first one to what extent will the critical factor affecting government confidence in the Saudi government sector influence the adoption of cloud computing in e government systems? According to the end users, which factors influence government organization to adapt cloud computing in e government systems and to what extent? The final one, what is an appropriate conceptual framework that can be applicable to the Saudi government 
in adoption cloud computing e-government system. As you know, the future of cloud computing has many uh, positive advantage. The first one is resource pooling and on domain uh, self service, easy maintenance, and large network increasing access, availability, automatic systems, economical security, pay as you go or as you want major services. This gives advantage of cloud computing for uh, uh, organization to adapt this technology based on the, pre, uh, the, the benefit of futures. The conceptual research framework based on the perspective of many studies and indicators Drive and assist the performance of various e government systems. The theoretical framework proposed to examine these variables influence the adoption of cloud computing and e government in Saudi Arabia based on four theoretical concepts. The first one technology context, which has uh, many. Uh, variables and the second uh, organization context which has two variables and environment context uh, has two and uh, social context has uh, three which uh, extend based on the uh, TOE uh, framework. Research method this study has been content mixed method, quantitative and qualitative method. The target samples was focused on top management and IT indicators, IT directors and IT employees of Saudi government organization. And we achieved uh, 887 uh, participants has been collected from survey and a 12 same structure interview has have been conducted from the uh, top management uh, IT in Saudi government organization. Uh, this will help us to a deep understanding of research problem and how for generalization of study results and also uh, is uh, the best approach to fulfill the research aim and to answer the research questions. In this slide, uh, show the time life of uh, data collection. Uh, I was start uh, in 2018 for ethical approval uh, consideration, follow the Sussex University. Uh, and uh, 2018, I'm start, uh, I was a start uh, a small pilot study to ensure uh, the data is clear and there's no mistake. And between uh, in 2019, uh, 10th of March to uh, end of May, uh, I was on uh, the main studies. Also, uh, the data collection uh, targeting uh, to management and IT uh, directors and IT employees of uh, Saudi government organization. Data analysis, the descriptive statistics for uh, collecting data has been used SPSS software for analyzing and the research has been applied the structure equation modeling procedure in order to examine the proposed conceptual uh, model by using uh, MOS software version 25 in order to use to examine the hypothesis. The technique that used for data analyzing uh, 
we use compare military factors uh, analyzing in order to create a measurement model. For nor normality test, we have two types of tests, skewnesses and cortices, and uh, normal data should be between uh, positive and negative three, and we achieve in skewnesses uh, 0.84 and cortices, uh, we achieve one point uh, 0.169 and the descriptive statistics the target uh, sample was focused on the management IT managers and employees of Saudi government organization and this tables uh, uh, as uh, show the briefly uh, descriptive uh, data uh, uh, between genders and the uh, position of the uh, the participants and the uh, organization who adopt cloud computing and uh, the number of uh, employees and organizations. In the structural equation model, we have uh, uh, some categories uh, which uh, should be uh, achieved uh, as minimum uh, this uh, uh, standards and the result of uh, data analyzing. We achieve higher than uh, the level of uh, the minimum standards which is uh, a good fit for all sections, which uh, give us opportunity to move for advanced analyzing. And for validity and reliability assist, uh, assessment, this research model was uh, a measurement for construct reliability, convergent validity, and uh, discriminant validity. Uh, I use one uh, equation for uh, uh, structural equation modeling, uh, uh, which is a comprise uh, reliability. We use uh, uh, a standard factor loading for items as one sample variable, uh, uh, which is security. Uh, this is the, the, the value of uh, factor loading. And uh, in other side, other side, which is uh, the error variance for items, we run the, this equation with other equation, and we achieve uh, this slide uh, for constant uh, reliability. We should achieve uh, greater than 0.7, as we have two types of uh, reliability, Chromba Alpha and Composite Reliability. As shown in this table, Chromba Alpha is greater than 0 0.7 and uh, CR uh, greater than 0 0.7. And for co uh, convergent validity, we have two types of uh, test. Uh, first one, average variance extent which uh, should be achieved uh, greater than 0.5 as we achieve uh, this uh, requirement. And for uh, maximum uh, share square uh, variance, it should be uh, achieved less than the average uh, variance uh, extent, which is uh, uh, less than uh, 0.5. And the, the other Validity is a discriminant validity. It is referred to extent of the distinguish uh, between a uh, construct and other co construct, as uh, this table show. And we use a cross-loading matrix, which has achieved a great value than, uh, than uh, other uh, uh, the correlation estimates as present which is uh, boy, uh, most of them uh, uh, greater than 0.7, uh, 
as uh, show in this table. After we achieve a modeling fit, we run uh, advanced uh, analyzing, and this uh, research has uh, uh, 12 hypotheses, and we examined by structure uh, modeling test to identify the relationship in the modeling uh, where empirical uh, exams as follow. And the result of the empirical data analyzing show that 10, uh, 10 uh, hypotheses out of 12 were significant uh, relationship and positive influence, while two of these hypotheses don't, uh, doesn't, uh, uh, didn't uh, meet uh, with the established criteria of this analyzing as uh, show uh, compatibility and uh, uh, add, uh, awareness, which is rejected, and other uh, favorable, which is uh, support and uh, significant uh, influence to adapt cloud computing. And uh, in this slide, uh, show uh, the final stage of the reverse research model, adoption model. As mentioned before, the compatibility and awareness is uh, rigid and there is no significant influence, uh, which uh, should be uh, less than 0 0.05. Uh, and uh, attitude and trust show uh, a strong uh, significant effect to adapt cloud computing and other uh, variables show normal uh, affecting to adapt uh, cloud computing e government systems. The main research contribution, as mentioned before, the variance uh, uh, dimension of uh, <coughs> the price of uh, dimension of the theoretical framework of research we adapt uh, uh, technology organization environment uh, models compound with the uh, uh, dimension of uh, innovation models in for uh, a dimension and we extend uh, social context and uh, other contribution we use uh, mixed method uh, in uh, e-government organization context and we can uh, uh, generalization uh, that this framework and uh, appropriate framework for developing country and also uh, we examine different uh, perspective from the management and IT uh, administrations of a government uh, organization and uh, for limitation we have some limitation uh, for uh, research scopes uh, and uh, some a potential uh, interviews refuse uh, to participate in this study and we have limitation for time and resource uh, constraint and for future uh, uh, research we can increase the, uh, the number of organization and also we can uh, apply other me uh, method for data collection as uh, like uh, uh, fo focus group uh, also uh, case study and we can incre increase or encourage the government organization by create a cloud uh, government platform to show uh, the benefit of uh, this adoption and uh, this is the my uh, publication as uh, is published all and uh, is available in conference and journals. And thank you for uh, attendance and uh, listening to my uh, presentation. Thank you so much, Dr. Nai. This is really informative uh, talk. I really wanna thank you and extend my thank to everyone who's coming today. So uh, does anyone have any question?
Uh, go ahead, Fatma. Okay, assalamu alaikum, uh, doctor. Uh, thank you for uh, this uh, lecture. I just want to ask you about uh, some point uh, in advantage. Uh, sorry, in uh, advantage uh, about uh, future mm -hmm. or uh, some uh, point. Can you put uh, the slide? The future work? Yeah. Okay. Before that. You mean this? No, no. No. Maybe the fourth slide. I can't hear you. Number four, fourth slide. Go back. Which is slide? In the beginning, uh, doctor. Okay, slide number four. Okay. Okay, this, yeah, yeah. No, no, before that. Okay. The figure, Dr. Knight, the figure. Oh, figure. Figure, yes. sorry, oh. yeah. The figure of cloud can be used. Yes. This slide, you mean this slide or what? No, no, the slide of the figure of the cloud can be used in features. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, about uh, the point uh, nine. Yeah, yeah, nine. Yeah, as you go. Yeah. Yeah. What you want? Uh, explain or what? Yeah, can you explanation? Okay. Uh, this feature is give uh, uh, organization use the capacity uh, of cloud computing what they want and pay for what they used uh, in other side in local server you can buy a, a server uh, for a huge amount but use uh, uh, a small capacity and we uh, we don't use other uh, capacity uh, is a uh, cost a huge money but in cloud computing what you used you pay for it. Okay, it's clear now. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Naif. Thank you, Fatma. I'm assuming that uh, Fatma is one of our students, so that's a good question. So, anyone else? Any question? Any other question? Yes, I Doctor Yusuf. Go ahead, Doctor Turkey. All right. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Kato. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Knight, for this achievement, and uh, welcome back to the college. I am interested to know uh, um, uh, the critical factors that you've mentioned. How did you derive these factors? Sorry. Can you repeat, please? Because it was mute. All right, so how did you derive these critical factors? So when you say critical, so, yeah. how, so could you please like, tell us how did you derive these critical factors? Because I don't, I don't see, I mean, the first motivation was to, to what extent the critical factors. So were you able to go back to literature and find these factors or did you find this in other countries that you were applied? I'm just curious, how did you draw these factors? As, 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 as I, I mentioned before, uh, this variable is based on the perspective of many studies and indicated drive uh, in assist the performance of the Indian uh, e-government system. So uh, we adopt uh, technology organization environment model which is, has these categories, and I extend uh, this model by social context, which is, has uh, attitude and awareness and trust uh, based on uh, other studies that show uh, influence in other sectors and other uh, countries or other studies. So, okay. 
after analyzing previous studies, we found uh, the, this, uh, uh, this uh, variables is applicable for Saudi government and also uh, is uh, show significant in other studies, which uh, uh, allow us or give us opportunity to uh, uh, encounter these variables in Saudi government organization sectors. Thank you. All right. So I would assume that the context here, as you mentioned, plays a role. I mean, if you compare the country, I mean, let's say Saudi Arabia to, let's say, somewhere in Africa or, you know, Asia, whatever, I think the, the, the context would matter here. So were you able to take this into account when did you, when you propose the factors? Because we might be biased if we just apply the, I mean, the factors that affect the Saudi government or the Saudi country to other country. I'm just curious to know yep. if you were able to, to assess these factors and see whether it's applicable to the context of Saudi Arabia or not. Okay, I will give you an example. I will show you. Uh, in the, in some, some countries, uh, there is no reg regulation for uh, a government uh, systems uh, or, uh, or online systems. But as Saudi government, they have a strict uh, regulation, uh, is, which is uh, the, the main idea is should cloud computing uh, located in Saudi government, Saudi Arabia, is not outside of Saudi Arabia. But other country, like uh, European country, they have uh, like a union uh, community, and uh, they, are, they can uh, locate uh, their data center in other country and we can, they can share their data. But in Saudi, uh, Saudi government, there is uh, a strict regulation is not allow any organization to uh, locate uh, uh, data center out of our region. Also, uh, the, the awareness in, in different country, the awareness is a uh, effect for uh, a new technology. Also, I trust if you uh, invest this technology or the organization uh, invest this technology, they can trust their technology. But uh, for other uh, organization, they should uh, have uh, evidence or uh, have a guarantee for trust uh, your technology. Perfect. Thank you so much. I would encourage you to find this. Research. I think there's a great potential for you. So, uh, good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Turkey, Dr. Alanay. This is a very good question. Uh, any other questions? Uh, before that, because you were talking, Dr. Ranai, sorry to jump in and ask my question. Um, you talked about trust. Yeah. Um, I'm really interested to know the human factor here. So you have uh, interviewed so many people. Yeah. And we know that these uh, technology are emerging in developing countries. But yeah. one one main big question is is about privacy. I, I don't see privacy here. So yeah. is it something based on your experience? Is this something concerning to those uh, people you have interviewed, or based on your evaluation? What yeah. do you think of privacy and cloud computing? It's, it's, it's a good question, Doctor Yosef. As as this model between. Relay, uh, end users and cloud providers. The priority is based on the cloud uh, providers. When you, uh, when you deal with the cloud providers, you should have privacy. But for uh, encourage user to trust the uh, cloud, uh, cloud provider, uh, it should be uh, has security, not privacy. Privacy when you use the technology. But in this research, we use encourage or uh, investigate the confidence 
of uh, Saudi government to adapt cloud computing. Uh, when you use the privacy, use it when uh, use this technology. But until now, Saudi government not start or uh, is still in the first age of adoption cloud computing. Okay, okay. So uh, I have read the uh, the document of a digital transformation or the national transformation mm -hmm. uh, of Saudi government, mm -hmm. and they have uh, focused in so many uh, things about privacy issues. But how, how do you evaluate uh, these emerging uh, applications, websites like Tawakkana, uh, Absher, uh, so many other technologies? Do, do, you, do you think there is a, a concerning uh, thing about privacy in these applications? Since yeah. you are focusing on Saudi Arabia. Yeah, uh, as you know, this application is uh, located in uh, uh, local uh, server is not adapt in cloud computing. As 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 you know, when you uh, go outside of Saudi Arabia, uh, you can't access uh, full features of like for Azure, for Yasser. You can't access uh, your uh, uh, account. But when you adapt uh, this application or this programs in cloud computing. This give opportunity to uh, full uh, access from uh, from anywhere, uh, anytime. Uh, also, uh, there is some uh, fusion uh, start uh, after uh, this pandemic, which is uh, uh, the Saudi government uh, has a good experience in the uh, last two years for. Uh, move all uh, applications and organization systems to uh, digital uh, transformation, which is uh, move the ranking from uh, uh, 58 to 33 uh, in 2001. Uh, and this gives us uh, uh, hope to, uh, in the future, we uh, become uh, in the top five uh, or top ten government organization in the world. That's perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Naif. And I know uh, there is uh, so many uh, awareness is going on about cybersecurity, cloud computing. Yeah. It's, it's a very important topic, and I really uh, appreciate uh, your direction in studying these uh, things. So, uh, does anyone have any other questions? Uh, we don't want to. Uh, Victor, uh, now I have to have another bike, huh? but uh, it's a very interesting topic, and that's why everyone is asking questions. Victor, I said. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Naif, and uh, welcome back, and thank you for uh, this important and informative uh, presentation. Dr. Naif, uh, we can see the, the IT, the e-government, uh, mm -hmm. the debate of moving to the cloud or staying local. Uh, so how to clear uh, this argument? For example, is there a method to uh, follow or uh, criteria to evaluate? Or is it uh, up to the top management or how to, how to clear this, uh, this argument? Thanks. Dr. Naif, can you unmute yourself? Uh, first of all, I will, uh, I will thank Dr. Adil for this question. And uh, to answer this question, before uh, 2020, uh, the interview was continued. And uh, the idea of the most of the top management, they prefer to stay local. but. After that, uh, the Saudi government invested the digital city in Riyadh, and uh, they uh, uh, invite uh, three top uh, government uh, organization 
cloud provider uh, in Saudi Arabia, uh, such as uh, HTC Cloud uh, and uh, uh, other uh, organization to uh, share uh, the idea to create or build cloud Saudi cloud uh, cloud center. And in the future, the government will move to the uh, cloud technology uh, because they will ask the global companies to come to Saudi Arabia for investment. And this will be changed in the future. That's good. Thank you so much. Any other question, please? Any other questions? If you have any questions, uh, or uh, if you want, uh, you can uh, contact me by email for uh, uh, our colleague in uh, girl sex uh, section, or uh, our colleague in uh, male uh, section. You can uh, contact me in my office or my email. Yes, I'm Can I ask you a question? Um, it is yes. not a question, but uh, it is more over a uh, comment than the future directions. So, thank you very much for your nice presentation. And uh, it is really the promising results related to the cloud uh, computing adoption and uh, all these things. I would uh, suggest you that uh, this model can further be revised and uh, uh, adopted on the global level rather than the country level. And then, uh, because this, you have the already approach on the one country level, but if this can be adopted, the same approach can be adopted into the, any other country or any developing country, which is currently uh, in the process of adoption of the cloud computing, then the comparison will create a new research direction for you and as well as the number of uh, uh, research output can be produced. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Asad. Uh, Dr. Naif? Yes, Dr. Do you have any word about what Dr. Asad said? Asad. Really, I I couldn't hear you, uh, Dr. Yasser, because it, it was mute for me. Okay, so can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to say, Dr. Naif, that uh, your model, which you have produ produced, is a very promising and yeah. uh, have good number of the statistics and the results. Yeah. So if this model can be adopted to the any other country or on the global level, this will open the new direction for you in the future research and the comparison of these models will create a very handsome and prom promising research output in the future. Yeah, uh, as, 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 uh, as I mentioned uh, in, uh, in the contribution studies, this uh, model can be uh, generalized uh, for different country, as you know, we have uh, in Arab Gulf, same uh, level of uh, technology and same level of uh, e-government systems. And uh, we share our cultures. And this be, can be applicable for uh, in different country. But in the advanced country, uh, uh, maybe is applicable uh, part of it because they have uh, other uh, uh, other uh, variables that can be applicable in their country. Exactly, Dr. Nath. So now the question is that you already said that there are three layers of the adoption of this model. Number yeah. one is in the advanced countries. And yeah. number two is the developing countries. And number three is undeveloped countries. Yeah. So you have the three comparison of this model. Yeah. Three. These, when you will implement this model into the countries as advanced, middle, and lower, 
it, it is going to be uh, another revolutionary model that you can produce and uh, output can be can generate several research directions in that. Yeah, that, well, that's right. Uh, but when you uh, try to uh, uh, investigate uh, the influence adoption of cloud computing in uh, advanced technology, uh, advanced country, uh, first of all, you you should study what they achieve in uh, adoption cloud computing. They have high level of adoption cloud computing, such as UK. They have full system in adoption cloud computing, and the US, uh, South Korea, they have full uh, system available in cloud computing. They already adopt cloud computing, but in developing country, they still in first stage, which need uh, a lot of work, a lot of uh, research, uh, investigate what the challenges that band this government or this and exactly the, exactly what you are saying right now is a future direction okay so now the adopted countries like you said south korea us uk their comparison and their research results are already available in the literature yeah okay the most important part is to inve investigate those approach in the middle and the lower level countries so yeah. this kind of the comparison is itself a very big contribution in research. As yeah, you're getting my well, point. I'm what I'm trying to say. You. Yeah, but as you know, there is uh, every country they have different policy for data center. Some country they have uh, flexible for regulation. They have a high level of awareness about technology, but some country uh, they don't have. Yeah. Based on this, you should first study the the current uh, level of cloud uh, system, uh, a government system, or uh, organization systems. That's good. That's good, Dr. Nay. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much, Dr. Nay, for, for your answer. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Assad. I, I, I'm assuming Dr. Assad is, is uh, offering a suggestion for the future, so you can consider that, Dr. Nay. So, yes. do we have any other questions, please? Any other questions? Okay, as Dr. Naif said, if you have any other questions, you can contact him by his email. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Naif, uh, for uh, your nice presentation. We really enjoyed the talk and uh, I find it really interesting. And thank you so much. And uh, we are welcoming you back um, for rejoining the uh, college. So congratulations again for your uh, PhD. We hope to see you very soon, inshallah. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Naif. And thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, please, Dr. Mohammed Mashur. Go ahead. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Dr. Naif, uh, yeah, I'm 